Greetings Paladins fans and welcome back to their Patch Notes recap. The Paladins team hopes you had a wonderful holiday and have kicked off a new year in style. Though we haven't patched in a few weeks, have no fear, we've been busy. Going to close beta 12, you'll be stepping into a brand new Paladins experience and we're eagerly awaiting your feedback on all the changes. There's a lot to cover in this patch, so let's get to it. Let's start with the new game mode additions. The long-awaited payload has arrived and with a brand new map to boot. Enter Outpost, our first payload map. The game mode is simple. Attackers must attempt to push the payload along the tracks to the defender's base to win the game. Defenders must keep the attackers off the payload cart long enough for the time to run out. If the attackers reach the checkpoints, they gain additional time. This next one is one of my favorites. We are also adding the game mode Survival. Survival is played on the same maps as Siege, but with an added twist. This mode is round-based, and during a round, if you die, you will not respawn until the next round. At the beginning of the round, a capture point is chosen randomly to be the point of convergence, or the epicenter. Deathly fog will gradually set in on this survival point, and standing the fog will damage you, and as the fog collapses on the point, teams are forced to engage. Hide in the grass, group up an ambush, but however you play, stay far away from the fog. And that's right, you just heard me say grass. Introduced in closed beta 12 will be patches of stealth grass on all maps where players can hide in. These patches will make you stealth as long as you are inside, but firing or taking action will reveal you. So be careful when traversing the map, as each patch may contain enemies. A new addition to Paladins that some Global Agenda fans may remember is the Beacon. In the spawn room will be an exit and entrance beacon. The entrance beacon will stay in your spawn room at all times, but the exit beacon can be picked up by anyone on your team by pressing B. Pressing B again anywhere on the map will place the exit beacon, and your team can use this to teleport to the battlefield after respawning. Be mindful where you place your team's beacon, as the enemy team can find it and destroy it. Likewise, be sure to hunt down the enemy beacon to put them farther away from the fight. Now let's talk a bit about the gameplay. We have made some adjustments to the lethality of champions, meaning you will be able to kill enemies faster than before. This changes the pacing of the game, but to accommodate this, we have made adjustments to the visibility during the match. Previously, you would see an enemy if they fired or if a teammate saw them and extended that vision to you. Now, you will only be able to see enemies if you can actually see their champion on your screen, and enemies will not reveal themselves if they fire. Be sure to share your feedback on the new game pacing. On the topic of pacing, we have granted the champions of the realm each an ultimate ability they may use when they build up enough strength. Dealing damage or taking damage during the match will build up your ultimate charge, and when it reaches 100%, you may fire your ultimate. Along with this, each champion also now sports an ability on their right mouse button that complements their playstyle. Be sure to check out the full patch notes for a list of abilities for each champion and how their kits have changed. Reloads have been introduced into Paladins and have been given to all champions. This allows champions like Sky to be a bit more bursty with the added pacing of a reload to slow her down and add more strategy to when you want to reload. Mounting will automatically reload your clip, so be aware of that. Cards, cards, cards. We have removed a lot of cards from the game in order to put more emphasis on each card and its impact on the game. Specialty cards have become legendary cards, and the rarity now shifts to common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. Legendary cards are the only ones that have damage on them, so the damage from champions will be a bit more consistent throughout the match. We're also doing a full card wipe for all accounts in this patch, but we will award currency for any chests purchased throughout the early stages of closed beta. Check the full patch notes for a list of which cards made the cut. We have made some adjustments to the way you draw cards during a match. Previously, you would build a deck of 15 cards, three cards of each rarity, and draw those during the match. While we wanted to reintroduce some randomness, we wanted to also keep the control you had over the cards you drew. The new system will allow both to be accomplished. You will now draw two out of the three cards you put in your pre-constructed deck randomly in the match. This means you will always be excluding one of the cards, but you will still maintain your overall build strategy. The HUD has been overhauled to give more visibility to the game space, but also provide more detailed information on your champion. One of my favorites is health amount is now represented by standardized tick marks, meaning the more ticks there are, the more health you have. One more thing to know, we have reordered the way the key bindings are assigned to your abilities by default to be in a logical left to right fashion that matches the keyboard, but may take some getting used to it first. That'll do it for closed beta 12 patch overview, guys. Head over to the forums for a full list of what went into the patch, and we look forward to seeing you in the realm.